friends. Just wanted to do a little tour here today. I'm going to take a look at the cover crops to see A, how they're doing, but also B, what they might be trying to communicate to me about my soil by their condition. Here we can see mustard. We also have some volunteer, either henbit or purple dead nettle, I'm not sure which. And it has been combined with Austrian winter pea that you see here, which is a nitrogen fixer in order to get the benefits of its nitrogen fixation. We'll chop and drop that before we plant anything so that the nitrogen built up in their roots becomes available to the new plants rather than going to make a flower and seed of the peas. Here we see around this cherry tree here, I planted a ring of garlic hardneck garlic and shallots. And it looks like somebody has dug up my shallots and replanted them where they might think it's a good idea to plant them. So maybe, maybe next year I'll grow the shallots and the onion types in a place where I can have, watch over them a little bit and make sure that the squirrels and critters aren't digging them up. They haven't touched the garlic, so that's a lesson. Look over here and we see where the cover crop has come in unevenly. And it could be this soil over here seems to have a lot more clay in it and less hummus than the rest of the yard. That could be why, or it could be that I was just really kind of missing a spot. I was sowing the seeds by hand and not using a spreader. So that could have been the problem. And these mustard look really good here. I'm coming over here. See, you can, you can even see the coloration of the soil here. It's got that clay color and the mustard is just kind of small. It's yellowing a little bit like it's deficient in nitrogen. I don't think it's water stress. We've had a pretty ideal winter here as far as water and rain is concerned. So I don't think it's that. I honestly think that they're trying to tell me that the soil here is low in organic matter and they're just struggling a bit. They're a little bit smaller than the mustard that I see in other areas of the yard, such as up against the fence here. Let's go take a look. All of this cardboard will be covered with wood chip. Here you see the yarrow coming up, a companion plant to these raspberry canes, hardneck garlic, more yarrow, and that is a blackberry that's gonna be climbing up um, a metal trellis there, part of my composter. Here we see more mustard in this bed going along the path here, doing well. But when we compare it to this mustard over here, this stuff, I mean, look at that dude. More onions that have been moved <laughs> into the wrong location. This mustard over here looks bigger, greener, and just generally healthier than the mustard on the other side of the yard. And what that's telling me is, is that this little bed likely has more nutrients available, more nitrogen available. And if we look here, we see the downspout. And all of this stuff that gets washed off the roof, the leaves, the dirt, seeds from trees, etc that organic matter gets washed down. And this soil here is really rich and black. And I think that there's just the nutrition from the runoff helping this area. And just also, it just happens to be a part of the yard that has more nutrients in the soil. Your soil's gonna vary across your yard. So I'm thinking that over here, I'll need less compost than I will in this area by the cherry tree where the crops seem to be struggling a bit. You're doing well. Nice big leaves. So I just kind of look at the cover crop and let it tell me what's going on. Here, I think we may have some chives coming up. Is that a chive? Might be grass. Planted chives all along this border as a companion. This will be a strawberry patch here with companion plants kind of peppered all through. 
so it could be there coming up because I see over here. Aha! Yes. Chives. So it may just be their time and they're coming out. So that's a little tour of everything that's going on so far and how to kind of check your cover crops and let them tell you what's going on with your soil.